Welcome to Green Leaves in Natchez, Mississippi. Welcome to Green Leaves. My name is Ruthie Coy, and this was my family home when I was a child, and it's actually been our family home since 1849. I'm the fifth generation of the family to live here, and they're grandchildren, so now they're seven generations of the family. And the house was actually built in 1838. We have a newspaper article telling it cost $25,000 to build originally. Uh, and we, our family's been here since 1849. My great-great-grandparents bought the house in 1849. It's a beautiful Greek revival style. It's a raised cottage. It has a full raised basement with big windows uh, underneath this floor that we're going to be touring and that was part of the original living quarters of the house. One of the interesting things about the construction of the house is that the materials to build the house were actually shipped down the river from Cincinnati and erected here on the site. We just recently found that out. So all these beautiful Greek Revival details that we saw here were not carved in Natchez, they were made in Cincinnati. So let's go inside and we'll hear some more about the house and also our family treasures. Now we're in the front hall of the house and this is where all our family portraits are. So this is where our story starts. And we have portraits of both the Kuntzes and the Beltsuvers. This is a portrait of my grandfather and his sister. And both the Kuntzes and the Beltsuvers came to Natchez from Pennsylvania down the Mississippi River, which everyone was doing in the 1830s when they came. And Grandfather Kuntz went into the banking business with William Britton. He established the Britton and Kuntz Bank, which was in existence up until a few years ago. And what's interesting is the Britons of the bank were my grandmother's family. So when my grandmother and grandfather married, that brought the two parts of the banking family together. And my grandmother was one of the ladies who started the pilgrimage in 1932. So we're uh, the only private home that's been on every spring and fall tour since 1932. Because we've been on tour since 1932 and people were alive who knew the stories, we have more stories to tell than we can include in this video. And also when you come to see us, you won't see everything. We're called the family that never threw anything away. So you will certainly appreciate that when you come to see us. Now, Grandfather Kuntz was actually an official Confederate agent, and he was reporting on the Union gunboats going up and down the river during the Civil War. So we have many interesting items that have to do with the time of Natchez during the Civil War. And we'll tell you those stories when you come to see us during Spring Pilgrimage, which is March the 11th through April the 11th. And you can look online at natchezpilgrimage.com and find all the information and buy tickets. We're gonna give you just a hint of what you're going to see. We have a bullet hole over the door, 
We have letters that relate to Grandfather uh, Kuntz's relationship with the Confederacy. He took his children to school in Europe, so we have items that relate to that also. We have wonderful horticultural history here, if that's what you're interested in, because my grandfather had a uh, fondness for camellias, and he planted over 200 varieties in the yard starting in the 1920s, and many of them still exist, and we know all the details about them, their name and where they came from and so forth. What we're going to have a peek at also are all the cabinets full of mementos because in, in the 1930s when pilgrimage began, my grandmother, Ruth Audley Beltsuver, thought there wasn't enough for people to see. So she began putting things in the cabinets and now you can't even see the books in the cabinets. So now we're going to go into the parlors where you'll be actually stepping back into the 19th century. And I want you to imagine what that would have been like in 1849, 1850, uh, and that they are still here today. And you might think it looks bad, but I want you to also imagine what yours would look like after that long a period of time. So let's go into the parlor. These are our double parlors, front, the front and back. In our family, it was considered that this front parlor was the more formal one and the back parlor was the one where you would entertain your children and close friends. Uh, we're so fortunate to have all these wonderful original things here. This is the wallpaper that the Kuntzes put up in 1849 and 50 when they came here. This is the original carpet on the floor which was put down in strips. And if you can imagine, since 1932, how many thousands of people have walked on it. It's amazing that it still uh, has any threads left at, in it at all. The beautiful furniture is the Kuntz's Rococo Revival furniture. And in every bookcase, we have family mementos. There are letters, there are books, there are photographs. This particular cabinet my grandmother set up as a military cabinet, so it has pardons of my, both of my great-great-grandfathers after the Civil War, and many other things there. And what's interesting also is the portraits in, the, in this room are people whom the family admired rather than the family portraits which are in the hall. It's kind of an interesting juxtaposition of, of portraits. And we did have the original curtains. There's actually one hanging uh, at one window here. And these are the original portieres between the two uh, uh, parlors, which is really amazing that they existed at all. So this is our Kuntz uh, family Bible. We don't know the entire history of it, but it was printed in 1670 and it uh, is written in Old High German, and it has some handwriting on the inside, which are, is genealogy, and there's some loose papers inside, which we have been told over the years they might be recipes, but we actually found out that they have Bible verses on them, which actually makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I want to show you that all of the doors in the house, both interior and exterior, were originally faux bois. They're cypress grain to look like oak, which was the fashion of the time. And my grandmother painted them because uh, my uncle had a Great Dane who scratched all the doors. So here's a picture of Harry the Great Dane. And here you can see the white and then the faux bois because when it began to be restored in some of the other houses in town, she said, oh, we have some of that, and she just pulled the door out, so now you can see the faux bois.
This is the dining room, and this is the last original room of the house, so this would be an exterior door here. And uh, this table we know was actually put together here in Natchez by one of the furniture sellers, makers, uh, for Grandfather Kuntz. And these wonderful chairs are unusual because they have both cane uh, seats and backs, which is ideal for this climate. So we have lots of treasures in here. We've enjoyed many uh, family meals in this room. We're going to walk across the main hall into the other side of the house, which was originally cabinets or bedrooms. And now this is the beautiful game room. Uh, on the table, we have some of the games that they would have played in the 19th century that have been handed down, and also some that we play today, like Mahjong. And then in this cabinet is our beautiful china, which uh, for years has been attributed to Audubon, the naturalist who was the painter. There's no way to prove that, but we do know that it was made for the Kuntzes because it uh, has Kuntz painted in gold under one of the lids of the terrines. There are many other beautiful things in here. This uh, wallpaper and some of the other wallpapers in the house have been reproduced uh, for the modern market, but we just can't seem to change any of them, put anything new up. This is the uh, last room of the original part of the house, and it was a cabinet or a bedroom also. And in here we have uh, my grandfather's christening dress, which has now been worn by uh, five generations of the family. And we have a list of everybody that's worn it with pictures of people in it. This is the back gallery of, of the house, a wonderful living space that the family has used through the generations. And you can see the original part of the house, and then the Kuntzes, when they came here, added the bedroom wing because they had eight children. And later, the servants' quarters, which are on the other side, were attached to the house by my great-grandfather, so it becomes a beautiful courtyard here. And in the center of the courtyard is our live oak tree, which is supposed to be over 400 years old. Of course, you can't really know the age because you have to core it or take a sample, and we're not going to do that. So we're going to trust that it's over 400 years old. And the poor camellias look bad because we had a terrible freeze like everybody else this year. But uh, they, you have to keep in mind that they have survived, most of them, for over 100 years. And unfortunately, they have no blooms this year. So come this year and we'll tell you about them and then come next year and you can see them blooming. 
thanks for visiting us today at Green Leaves. We have a lot more to show you, as you can tell from this video. And we hope you'll come and see us during spring and fall pilgrimage. Just go to NatchezPilgrimage.com and you'll find all the information you need. And we hope you have a glorious day like we have today when you come.